All right, so I'm gonna teach you how to fix the EVGA 1050Ti fan. There's three screws in there. One, two, three. It's a Phillips zero. You can use iFixit screw. So let's make this red. So it'll be one screw right here. I think there's one right here, one right here. And you could buy it on AliExpress. The part number is PLA 0921516121L. And I'll also put it in there. If not, it's just easier to buy the whole you know, cover, keep the heatsink, and just like slap it back on. So let's go back to the picture. So you'll remove this screw, this screw, this screw, this screw, and possibly this screw or that one. But I think it's this one. Or you can remove that one, so you can remove the top off. I just plop off. But there's a fan cable. Fan cable. Right here. Fan cable. Let's change this red. So, when you remove it, there's a fan cable. Be careful. Use pliers to, like, push this up. And after that, you can do the reverse. Or, you can go back to the thing. The fan, just buy the fan only, which is only $12. If not, you buy the whole casing. This is easier if you just buy the whole shebang. And it comes with this logo, but the fan doesn't have that. So you can use like two knives to like pop the fan. And use the old one with the E, the logo. But this one works out fine. I'm using it right now. It's not very loud. It's quiet. It's um there's really no point in like um putting oil drilling a hole. That's too much trouble. It's just cheaper to buy a fan if you can find it. Um, used to be on Amazon, but the only place to get it from is China from AliExpress. So far, it works. I'm the only review that's mine. I actually bought it, and it works fine. I'm using it right now. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's, in the house. that's how you replace the Tiffany TI. I would show you by hand, but the video didn't turn out because um, it's just too much work to just create a video. This is just better explaining with pictures. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, and peace.